Hello and welcome to another BSA Electronics video review. Today we have EVSC 122. This is a 50 amp portable made up of 50 amp components designed to provide 40 amps of continuous charging to your electric vehicle. It uses a standard J1772 plug, the nice generous 25 foot cord, and a longer than normal six foot input cord. This one was specifically designed for cold winter use using rubber cords instead of other materials. Allows it to be very flexible in the winter time. On the input, this one was designed with a beautiful Hubble 50 amp twist lock connector. This is a CS8365 connector allowing you to use several different adapters, optional adapters, um, to connect to the type of uh, outlet that you may find. This unit is based upon the Open EVSC version 4 board as of today. That is the most up to date board. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Now as soon as I plug this in, this is going to go through its self-diagnostic. And this is running version 3.11.3 firmware. This gives us a lot of great features that we have covered in some of the other EVSC demos. But I'm going to kind of go through some of this today. Uh, so from the main screen here, we simply hold down the menu button to get into uh, setup. And we can tap it. We can do restart, exit, or setup. So let's go all the way down in the setup. We have a lot of options in here. We have service level, max current, and so on and so forth. I'm sure you can read all those. And it rolls all the way around. So the service level. This is a dual voltage auto sensing EVSC. It will run on level 1 or 2, which is 120 volts or 240 volts AC. We're going to leave this on auto. It is possible to make some other selections and force it to level 1 or 2. We want to leave that on auto today. The maximum current. You'll want to dial this to match the circuit breaker of the outlet that you're plugged into. Now today I have this plugged into a 50 amp circuit using a 50 amp adapter we're going into uh, NEMA 1450 outlet. So the maximum continuous draw on that is 80% using the NEC's 80% rule of thumb so we're at 40 amps. You can however dial this as low as 6 amps. Why would you want to go that low? Well maybe you're in a cabin up in the north woods a rickety old circuit breaker won't hold very high and uh, you just can't seem to get uh, much amperage out of it. You can go as low as 6 amps. It's adjustable in two amp increments. It remembers the amperage setting or maximum current as it's called here between power ups and it even remembers it differently between level two and level one. The plus symbol means that's what's currently selected. We're going to press and hold and acknowledge that yep we want to leave it at that. Now the diode check, vent required check, ground check, stuck relay check, GFI self test, and temperature check are all on by default and should be left that way. They can be turned off for bench uh, testing uh, for repair or um, troubleshooting. You want to leave all those good safety features on. Now we're going to exit back out. So this one has the optional ammeter. What does that do for us? Well you're going to see new things at the bottom here with that optional ammeter um, hardware and software. You're going to get watt hours delivered for this session, and you're going to get total cumulative kilowatt hours. This is like an odometer, that number is not resettable. As you charge up, this number will increase, and just like an old time gas pump, when you unplug, that number will stay there until the next time you plug in, then it will get zeroed out. Everything will be accumulated over here and stored in the EEPROM's non volatile memory, so it will be accumulated over time for you.